Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Our dear loving Father in heaven, once again, we would like to lift our voices into your throne for your love and for your faithfulness to each one of us. Thank you, Father, for your blessings granted to each one of us that uh, once more we can come into your throne to seek your blessing and to lift our petitions before your throne. And Lord, we are so grateful that you are never tired of hearing our request because you are our Father. And at this moment, Lord, we continue to pray for our friends, our brothers and sisters who are caught in the middle of the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. Father God, we continue to lift them into your hands that uh, these people will experience your protection. These people will experience your miracles so that their faith will be strengthened despite of this uh, circumstances, they can see you through at the end of this tunnel. Thank you, Lord, for answering this prayer we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, we are humbled and truly really asking for your divine interventions for the country of Ukraine. We know, oh Lord God, that rumors of wars, earthquakes, famines of the lands are all prophesied in the, in the Bible, and those things will only happen prior to your second advent. So, Lord, we would like to continue to ask for your leadings, for more strength to our dear brothers and sisters in the country of Ukraine. Lord, give them more courage to go on, comfort each family who are affected, dear Heavenly Father, with this war between the country of Russia and Ukraine. Continually to lead the leaders of these two countries, Lord, so that peace will always be, will always reign by your grace and mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And so, Holy God, we once again thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your loving kindness towards us. Lord, we are gathered again today to stand in the gap for our brothers and our sisters across the length and breadth of the earth. Especially, Lord, at this time, we lift up our brethren in Ukraine unto you. Faithful God, you are our maker, you are our sustainer. So we ask, oh God, that you will sustain the lives of your children in Ukraine and Russia. Lord, as daily bombardments are going on, hearts are failing, oh God, be near your children. Lord, be ever near them to encourage them, to protect them. Lord, even as they go through this crisis, I pray you increase their faith in you. We know that what is going on now is part of what the Bible has foretold us that perilous times shall come, there shall be wars and rumors of wars. So gradually we're stepping toward the threshold of the crisis of the end time. But Lord, keep us strong, keep us faithful. May we not be discouraged, especially our brethren in Russia and Ukraine, but rather let their faith in you increase at this time that whatever happens to them, 
be they dead or alive, that their hope and faith in you will seal them through, especially into the book of life. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Leah, you are muted. As we continue our prayer, Lord, we come to you this moment to pray for our brothers and sisters in Russia. We give you our hearts to ask for all humanity. Lord, be present in their places where there is war. Keep the innocent from the cruelty of men and pour out your glory and your love for all nations. In the midst of so, so much pain, we ask you to touch the most petrified hearts. May your holiness transform evil into goodness, disbelief into hope, darkness into light, and death into life. Purity of our hearts, fill them with kindness and love. Starting with us, your love will be transmitted to our families, our friends, our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, and down to everybody. Lord, please help us to be ready for your soon return. Please fill us with the Holy Spirit as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly seek your blessings and protections to all the people in Ukraine and to its neighborhood countries for they are struggling right now O lord embrace them with your loving arms and warm them under your wings guide them father to find the hope the freedom and the healing that you are offering thank you father for the comfort and the strength that you will give to them in jesus name i pray amen Father in heaven, we continue to lift our petitions at this moment. We want to bring Allison's request of intervention for his nine-year-old cousin, Tiana Brown, who was diagnosed with leukemia. Father, we are praying that uh, you would uh, touch the hearts of people who would uh, donate blood for her so that uh, her life will be spared of father. We would like to ask, just like those who were sick, Father, when you were here on earth, that uh, they found healing in you because they have trusted in your power. And so we trust your power, Father, to heal our dear sister Tiana at this very moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Gracious and believe, Father, we would like to humbly ask and bring unto thee the prayer request of Nivdain. She's asking, Lord, for continuous prayer for her, for her marriage and her family, that they may they unite or reunite, O oh Lord, urgently, but it's still by your perfect time, O oh, Heavenly Father. They're trying to be patient. Many are gems or the oh Lord in their relationship at this time. So we continually ask, Lord, for more unity that is always constant to thee. So, dear Heavenly Father, unite their family, bless them, and above all, Heavenly Father, may thy Holy Spirit lead them so that they can always do what is always right in thy presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Lord, in continuation, we bring before you 
uh, Trimor Kuzler, who is asking that we pray their Lord for Well, Lord, uh, you know what the request of this child of yours is, uh, even though I cannot read it very well, but you know what it is that this child of yours, Trimo, is asking for. Lord, please, as we have mentioned, the name of this child of yours to you this day, I pray you will come true in their situation to the glory and honor of your name. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, as we continue our prayer, we are praying for Joe Gammon's request. She wants to thank you for the deliverance of, from all the wicked earth things that gain his attention. He has struggled with pornography and some alcohol. So... We are praying, Lord, that he will be successful through your help to, to overcome his ad addiction. Lord, you know how hard it is if you will not help him. It is only you, Lord, who can help him overcome this addiction. Please grant the desire of his heart, Lord, so, so that he will be closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. As we continue, Lord, for uh, in praying and pleading in, in front of you, Lord, we are praying for Tinashe. We are praying for um, his thank her thankfulness for being an Adventist. And he's also thankful for um, answering all some of her prayer requests. So both of her parents are not feeling well. So we are praying, oh Lord, to lay your hands upon her parents. And um, also for her faith, Lord, grant him the faith that you want us to have. A faith that is immovable. A faith that is always trusting in you. And also, Lord, we are praying for her sister who is not feeling well and she's also praying for for their faith lord you know their situation you know their needs we are praying for their family if they are sick right now oh lord rest your healing hands upon them and may your life giving power flow um, in their bodies and souls so that they will have a strength um, that you want us to have a body and souls that is I'm um, strong as as you given us before. Lord, we are praying for their family so that we can continue glorifying and praising your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father in heaven, we lift to you Amjad Gulzar. He is uh, asking to pray on behalf of their ministry in Pakistan. Lord, we ask for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit to empower them, Lord, in using their spiritual gifts that you have entrusted to them. Bless all the plans and the initiatives that they are planning in order to reach the cities in Pakistan. And Father, on their own, they cannot do anything. And so we want to rely everything in your power. For we ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In heavenly Father like to pray for a four. Uh, he's asking or he's very thankful Lord God for you have guided him and he's asking Lord for prayers for, for, for her family or his family and also in the in their church 
and all of their ministries here in the in the Philippines. Levi or here in the there in the Philippines, our Lord God, we'd like to continually ask for your blessings upon them. Use the mighty Lord in continuously sharing your promises, your plan of salvation unto all people whom they are serving or whom they are sharing, O oh Lord God. Above all, Heavenly Father, bless them with a double portion of thy Holy Spirit so that they can continue to shine for your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, Lord our God, we bring before you this afternoon um, your son or daughter, Jade Concepts. You know this individual and he's praying and asking that we pray for the Adventist Church in Nigeria and by extension globally. Lord, the church belongs to you. And so we know that since you're the head of the church, no matter what the devil does, the gates of hell shall not prevail against your church. So we pray, Lord, for revival of primitive godliness in your church in Nigeria and across the world. As we see the way the world is going right now, a lot of negative things are happening in the social media, in the physical world, in the fashion world, Lord, in the film industry, wherever we turn our eyes to, Lord, we behold evil. And this has a way of impacting on some of your people negatively. So we pray, Lord, that you grant us the full measure of the Holy Spirit, that our lives will be a sermon that those around us can read and come to you. Lord, again, grant us peace, grant us unity of faith in the church that we may be able to do exploits for you. Thank you, Lord, because with you, the church will come out triumphant at the end in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we are praying for the prayer request of Carlos Molova. She applied for Zambia Air Force and Zambia Fully Service as a recruit officer. He's asking for a prayer that he may be selected and his name should be there as well. Lord, you know what is best for him. You know his plans. And you know the beginning to the end. Lord, if it is in accordance with your perfect will, please grant the desire of his heart. But Lord, if you have other plans for him, please, Lord, guide him and let him be closer to you. Please let the Holy Spirit touch his heart so that he will direct, direct his uh, plans for your service, Lord. Lord, thank you so much that we have a God that will guide us, that answers our prayers. And so please, Lord, guide Carlos in his plans, guide his family and protect him always as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue praying, O oh Lord, we are praying for, for Prakash. Um, he is praying for a sm uh, an accident that is going on right now. Please, Lord, um, guide our brother Prakash for the small circuit, a short circuit in, in his bedroom. And we are 
thankful that there's no major accident. We are praying for their, for their safety, O Lord, and for the Adventist Church in India. Lord, we are so thankful for always answering our prayer, for always hearing us in all, in all our pleads and petitions. We are praying, O Lord, for all of these prayer requests. We may not know what their situation right now, but we know that you are there. You are beside us, always um, embracing us with your loving arms and with your um, Holy Spirit. We are asking, O Lord, for your protection for each one of us, for your guidance and for the Holy Spirit to be in front of us, to lead us while we are waiting for your second coming. Lord, please continue to strengthen our spirit, to make us strong in every situation that we will encounter. Thank you, Father, for the promise and for being a faithful God, a faithful Father who will be with us until the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And thank you so much again, everyone. Thank you again, Elder Nicholas.